Hey, Michaela. Yes, Rory. When you're at school, or maybe when you weren't. Did I ever get in a fight with a chick? Yeah. How did I know you were going to do that question? Because I'm a predictable male. Uh, no. No. No, never even came close. Really? Did you yeah. ever watch one? Were you one of the kids that stood around going, fight, fight, fight? No. Oh. No, you... there was no, I was in a good school. There was never any fights. Like, never. What? I don't even remember one. I don't believe that for a no. second. No fights. Was it a mixed, mixed, yeah. um, I was going to say mixed race. <laughs> it was a mixed school. <laughs> a little town. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, I don't think I've ever seen a fight. Hmm. Do you want it? Uh, I, I have gone to boxing game matches. Right. I've seen mundane fight. That would have been pretty exciting. Yeah, but no, <laughs> nothing in real life, I don't think. Mm. My kids wrestle each other and bang their heads against the wall. Does that count? <laughs> it's like world, worldwide wrestling at home. <laughs> Welcome to the Tradies Business Show, helping you get off the tools and into true business ownership so you can spend more time doing the things that matter most. Now, here are your hosts, Warwick Bidwell and Michaela Clark. Welcome to the Tradies Business Show with uh, Woz and Michaela. Now, I'm sure you've just picked this topic so that you get to watch YouTube chicks fighting each other. I don't know why you would think I'd want to do hours of research for an episode about chicks fighting. And you've just twisted it into some kind of business lesson so that, you know... There's a lesson in everything, Michaela. Oh, there is. Yes. Uh... No, it's just because it was quite topical. Uh, So we're recording this episode um, just after Ronda Rousey uh, lost to Holly Holm, I think, was the chick that beat her. But Mm -hmm. um, if you don't know who Ronda Rousey is, she's a female UFC fighter who had this amazing undefeated record. She was basically unbeatable. Um, world band and weight champion, and uh, she just had a fight recently, and she got knocked out in the second round. So it's touted as this massive upset. Uh, you know, everyone expected her to win easily again. It was just it became a bit of a broken record for Ronda Rousey. So. And didn't they pay heaps of money to have the fight in Australia? Is yeah, it, yeah, so it was in female Melbourne. It was in Melbourne. Yeah, boxing or yep. fighting. Like Sixty thing. bucks a ticket. And they packed this whole stadium, and, and it was all over in about four minutes. <laughs> So I'd be pissed. Like, you can go to a 90-minute concert for that. Uh, and you couldn't even see anything. You know, I saw some footage from uh, friends, actually, on social media that were at the fight. Yeah. And, and all they could see it was on the big screen. So, I mean, I got to see the footage for free on, on uh, YouTube. <laughs> but uh, the point was, it's not about the chicks fighting. Um, it's about this whole mindset around... You know, so Ronda's had this undefeated record. She's the world champion. No one's been able to beat her. She's knocked out all her opponents, like, very, very quickly, record times, 12 seconds and that sort of stuff. And uh, here's this other bird who basically, there was a bit of argy-bargy in the lead-up to the fight, but um, I read a quote from Holly, her opponent, um, basically saying, well, why not me? You know, someone's going to beat her, beat this undefeated champion. Why not me? I've got just as much chance as anybody else. She's in the ring. Exactly. So if you position yourself yep. uh, where you can take yep. victory and whatever it is in life, then you've got a chance. Absolutely. So she kind of epitomized that self-belief and um, the mindset of, well, undefeated or not, everyone's got an opportunity to, to win this fight here. Whoops. And uh, just I'm just like punching the microphone. I'm so excited. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, it, it really for me was uh, symbolic of what happens to us in business, in life in general, where I guess we feel like perhaps we're the other fighters that are always getting beaten and we go into situations where we think, well, how am I possibly going to win, you know, against a big player in the market or a big competitor or uh, you know perhaps you've got a, a staff member that you're struggling with and they just seem to always have the upper hand and maybe it's with your partner like there's all these situations where we tell ourselves that we're actually not good enough to do that contract or win the tender or deal with a, a you know potentially um, conflict situation so it's just having that mindset that why not me uh, yep. I could do it mm. So, uh, yeah, I really liked that. And I just thought it was a good a good little anecdote, Michaela. It is, and it's also interesting looking from uh, Rhonda's point of view. You know, did she get so cocky 
Did she not prepare enough for the fight? Mm. Did she just think this is a done deal? You know, so are you getting complacent in your business if you're going well at the moment? Hmm. You know, so, yeah. uh, you know, are you, you know, keeping on track with your plans and are you putting time into things that you should be? So, you know, are you keeping your business up to scratch because you never know another competitor could come in with some smart marketing tactics and or better service or whatever and undercut you and, and take business away from you. So it's about not being complacent as well. Hmm. But the other thing that's interesting about Rhonda is that she was just so shocked that she's lost, you know. She's Devo. apparently been hospitalised for depression and, you know, didn't do the glove thing at the start. It's really unsportsmanlike. So, mm. and really just, you know, I don't know if you can say not being a bit of a sore loser mm. a little bit. So just making sure it's all about your attitude in business as well. And if you do get beat for whatever reason, it's not about giving up or... yeah. You know, just throwing in the towel or, you know, having the socks or whatever. It's about getting back up and seeing how you can improve and things like that. So I think there's a lot of lessons to be learned out of chicks belling yes. the shit out of each other. You just thought it was about some perverted male thing about two birds Just a money-making exercise and two chicks going finest. in, you know, because yeah. of course it wasn't rigged. Ooh, there's a bit of cynicism there, Michaela. I'm just the, saying. The odds were pretty damn good. Like, if you'd bet on Holly winning... <laughs> You would have cleaned up. Just uh, saying. I'm <clears> just putting it out there. I haven't seen no... the odds, but but I think the odds of Rhonda um, losing like minus 2,000 to 1. So you would have lost money uh, betting on that. But, uh, Rematch on, the on money. Winning, sorry, on winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, so it's, I oh know, conspiracy. But, uh, yeah, definitely, as you're saying, you know, that complacency thing. I, I, I see a lot of people do that where when things don't go the way they expect or the way they hoped – it really knocks them for six, and that's that's just how it is. Sometimes, you know, I mean, this is loaded with cliches, but yeah. sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's it's not about that. It's obviously the next fight, and you know, she's she's only young. She's still yeah. got plenty of years left in her career. She could still go on to be the greatest female UFC fighter ever, and and lose ten percent of the time. Because it's it. not about having the perfect record. It's about that consistency and I suppose, you know, again... And learning from your failures or when you haven't won and getting back up and all those... And you know what? I, I kind of apologise for the cliches, but I'm going to retract that apology because th they're cliches and axioms because they're true. And mm. they're the things that we really do need to remember is, is uh, you know, these are such great analogies for life. And we write that stuff off because, like, ah, oh, that's just that's just was with these bloody drippy crap, you know, um, using all these analogies. And I know everybody loves my analogies, <laughs> <laughs> especially me. But um, but it is such a great, uh, you know, example for how we run our businesses and, and our relationships. So, um, and I got to talk about Ronda Rousey and uh, chicks fighting UFC for you know about ten minutes. Uh, so I thought that was really worth it. Well, excellent. So what would be your fight song? What would you come out to if there's a song <laughs> playing? And My fight song? Jeez. Uh, it would be something by the Foo Fighters or um, I don't even know the band, but uh, I'm going to knock you out. Yeah, that song? Oh, yep. Yeah. There you go. What about you? Now, if you uh, – I don't know what. I have the tiger. No one's done that, have oh, they? Oh, no. That's never no? been done. Okay. Yeah. But if you want to be a knockout in your business. Whoa. There we like go. It? Talk about a cliche, huh? <laughs> Check out the Trady Business Toolkit. Ah, yes. Dot com. Dollar Get the upper hand on your opposition. Oh. Oh. <laughs> go the full round. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. We should quit now. We don't have any bikini girls with numbers going round. What? No. Can we get some organised? <laughs> but it's sexist. What about it bikini is. boys? No. no. I have my husband. I don't need anyone else. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so the dollar for the first 30 days and then some small amount after that. We may even <laughs> put the price up, so let's not mention it here. Um, uh, tools yeah. and videos and a private Facebook community, all kinds of stuff to help you grow your business and, uh, and be the winner every yeah. time. Deliver a knockout blow every time you step into yeah. the room. Uh, that's terrible. We should probably quit now. We should. All right. Bye. <clears throat> okay, thanks. You've been listening to the Tradies Business Show with Warwick Bidwell and Michaela Clark. Want to get off the tools into true business ownership? Find out how at tradiesbusinessshow.com.